Hey y'all, um, happy Monday. I just wanted to share a quick, like a quick little win. And, and y'all, I'm so excited. I'm so speechless. You don't understand. Like in this hour, God is making things happen for his people. He is raising up his children. Those who have been suffering in the wilderness, those who have been like just going down through there, but you have been faithful and holding on to the hand of God. You could have turned away. You could have walked away. You could have turned your back on God, but you did not. You held close to him. You stay faithful. Even when you could not see two feet in front of you, you held on to his word and God is rewarding us in this hour. Y'all, I just got assigned not one, not two, but five games for the rest of this year, for the rest of 2024. We ain't talking about 2025. That's a whole nother, that's conference season. I just got assigned five games. I do my next game this Friday. I made a post in it um, about it in my community tab. So I, um, I'm i doing my next game this Friday. If you have the ESPN Plus app, it's 7 p.m. Central, UT Arlington versus Texas State. So I'll be the color analyst for that game. In December, I have four games. I'll be doing two men's basketball games and two women's basketball games for UT Arlington. Y'all just don't understand. This is a 20 plus year dream in the making. The last time I did television uh, broadcasting was in 2004 or maybe 2005. It was like a year or two after I had retired from basketball period. Like I retired from the league, then I went overseas for a couple of years, for a couple of seasons, and then I officially retired. I covered three SEC women's basketball games for Fox Sports South. And I thought that my career was about to take off and baby, it's been crickets since then. And I buried that dream. I thought that it wasn't what God had for me. Let me rephrase it. I tried to bury that dream. I tried to convince myself that it wasn't what God had for me because it would be so painful for me to see other people. I was never envious. I was never like a hater or anything like that. I'm always cheerleading. I, baby, I'm going, I'm rooting for everybody. I want you to win. I, I want you to win. And even when it's not my time, I can clap for you. But there was always this feeling like, God, when is it going to be my turn? Or maybe that's just not for me. And so I tried to bury that dream, y'all. But I couldn't shake it. I couldn't shake it. I would have in my quiet time, in my quiet time, I would cry out, not in, not verbally, but just in my in my heart. I would tell God, I would I would cry out about my dreams of of television and and, and sports broadcasting, and just even just having a platform to build up women, like a global platform. Like I wanted to travel the world, just empowering women. Not that not that fake women's empowerment stuff. You know, I don't, I ain't, I'm talking about like for real just instilling hope like don't give up on your dreams like don't if it's something that is tugging at you like a dream that you tried to bury but you just can't let go of and I'm not talking about if you 80 and you talking about you want to go play in the NFL I'm an, I ain't talking about being deranged okay like I'm talking about those dreams that like childhood dreams that Every time you tried to pursue it, something got in your way. The devil came and blocked it. And I know I've been on YouTube for a couple of weeks and I told you guys that I started and restarted, stopped and started and stopped. And just two weeks ago when I really gave God a yes and I stopped worrying about what would happen if somebody would watch, if anybody would listen, would I, how many subscribers I wanted to get, how many, like all of those things, I just, I just was obedient. And I'm not saying that, I'm not trying to be sanctimonious or sound sanctimonious. Like God ain't finna come down out of heaven off his throne and do nothing. He already did it. When Jesus went to the cross and died and rose again, like that was it. The work is finished. There are steps that we have to take, things that we have to do. God empowers us through the gifts and the talents that he's given us, through the resources, resources of money, resources of time, resources of products and services, resources of people. There's still work that we have to do. But when I say work, I'm not talking about studying. Yeah, you got to study. Yeah, you got to. And, and we talk about building on this platform. Yes, you need to understand how the algorithm works. Yes, you need to understand about editing. Yes, you need to know about building a community and how to engage in what content and, and your audience and all of those things. But the work I'm talking about is that internal work. You can do all of those things. And I am a living witness. If you are a believer of Christ, 
if you are a follower of Christ, this is for you. You can do everything right. You can know the algorithm. You can put the right keywords in your description. You can write, you can have a playlist. You can have a perfect thumbnail. If it is not in God's will in this season for you to quote unquote blow up on YouTube, it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. It was not until I got in alignment with the Lord and I stopped I, I stopped looking at anything external to validate me. And I only looked to the Father. It was only then that my that the work that I started doing, I wasn't doing busy work. I wasn't looking to, to copy anybody or do it any other way. God, I got this phone. I don't know how, I mean, I know how to edit, but that takes too long. So whatever you give me to say, empower me to say it in a way that it only takes me one time to record it. And then I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to post it and, and you you do what you do. Whoever's supposed to see it is going to see it. That's where I am in this hour. Y'all, I told God, like, Lord, I'm not going to be doing all that networking and, and trying to connect with this person and connect with that person and, and, and send the video here and send my tape there and connect with this producer. I said, God, if you want this to grow into something, you do it. If you never give me another game, I'm grateful for the one you, you let me have. And y'all, I meant that with my soul. And today I got the phone call. He said, Yolanda, the, the um, person who who um, hires the talent said, Yolanda, you're in demand. I got some dates for you. I'm going to send them over. Let me know if they work. I said, sir, whatever date it is, I'm telling you now, yes, you can send them over. But I'm telling you now, they work. They They work. Y'all, five games. I went from having no games, wasn't even looking to get back on TV. It was a secret dream. I ain't tell nobody. I wasn't out telling nobody. I happened to see somebody meet up a friend of my, with a friend of mine who coached in the NBA. We met at the NBA combine, uh, pre-draft combine in 2019. I had not talked to him in five years. I saw him in the gym. We, in, we live in the same area. I saw him in the gym. He got a job coaching with the Las Vegas Aces. He was doing color analysis. He said, listen, I'm not going to be able to do these games. Um, do you want me to? Yes, please. I got a degree in radio and TV. Absolutely. He made a phone call. The person he called knew me because he was working at another school where I interviewed for a head basketball coaching job. My friend is trying to sell me on him. Dude is like, no, nah, you ain't got to sell me on her. I know her. I was very impressed when I met her, when she came in through the interview process. She was our choice. Athletic director had somebody else in mind that wasn't for me. And I wasn't mad. I wasn't upset at all. He made a phone call. A chance me. I ain't have to. I wasn't on LinkedIn. I wasn't sending out 25 outreaches a week, a day, all that. I wasn't. I've done that before and it didn't work. It didn't work. Yes. There is, There are things that you have to do, but you can do all of that work, woman of God, man of God. You can study, you can take the courses, you can learn the algorithm, you can learn how to edit like, a, like the best of them. You can go get a graphic design specialist and all the things, you can do all the things. Woman of God, man of God, if you are not in alignment with what God has for you in this hour, in this season of your life, None of that stuff is going to matter. Get in position, y'all. You got to be in position to be blessed. You asking the Lord for things, but are you even in position to receive them? If he gave it to you right now, would you be able to handle it or would it break you? Would the weight of the responsibility of the blessing break you? Get in position. Y'all, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. All glory to God, because I'm telling you it was him. I wasn't looking for these. I wasn't looking for this opportunity, but I'm ready for it. And I want you to get ready for it too. get in position. Y'all get in position.